Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is basically me just using the Laura Lee Party Animal Palette and using every single colour to create this look on my eyes. If you want to see how I did it then stay tuned and watch the video. So Party Animal Laura Lee Palette, I just got this a few days ago and I'm so excited because I love Laura Lee. I don't give a shit what you have to say about her, okay? Your opinions just leave them elsewhere but I love her okay let's just get over it if you have a problem with that don't watch the video okay okay um and yeah I'm gonna be doing a little challenge I guess and I'm going to be trying to use every single shade in the palette on my eyes um I think doing that I don't know if doing that would make a proper video like I don't know how long that video would go for so I'm gonna do like a small get ready with me as well like I'm just gonna be like showing the product I'm using it'll be on my face showing the product I'm using it'll be on my face like I'll skip all the actually doing it part because that'll take way too long and make the video way too long but I don't know how long this is gonna take so I don't know if I need to add a bit just to make the video long enough or you know anyways it doesn't matter to you but um yeah let's just get started start doing eyeshadow while I've got this under my eyes so if I have ball out which I have excuse me miss which I assume I might because I don't know what I'm doing so that just means mess because I know myself so I figured I'd bring you guys back in now obviously because I kind of need to let me just see if I can make this bit better Naya calm down okay that's better lighting I hope I need to sneeze really badly. Come on, please let me sneeze. Please let me sneeze. Nope. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna <laughs> try and use every single shade in this palette. <coughs> Sorry. Naya! I have a decent idea of what I'm gonna try and do. I'm not gonna tell you because then it will just spoil the whole video if I do end up doing what I'm thinking I might do. Okay. Naya! Missy. Um. Yeah. 
first I'm gonna swatch the shades for you. The first one is Issa Party and it's that, uh, like the mix between yellow and green. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I don't know. Maybe not, but that's that one. I need a makeup wipe. Conveniently have some next to me. Talia was thinking ahead for once. That's rare occurrence. The next one is called Damage Control. Oops, I just got it all in the pan. Oh, and I just smudged my other swatch. I'm hopeless. Um, that's Damage Control. I cannot see if I'm doing that right. Um, yeah, mattes aren't going to swatch well because mattes never really swatch well. And a lot of them are mattes. Anyways, the next one is called Karaoke. This one has some shimmer in it. It's not like shimmery, but like, I don't know. I'll show you in a second. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell it. Now you're going to see what I mean by I got it all over the pan. Um, there's like little flecks in it. Am I just crazy? There's like a sheen to it. I don't know. If you know like it's like shh, there's a sheen to it. Can you see that? I can see that. And the other one's just matte and that one has like a sheen to it. Anyways, doesn't matter. Naya, stop it. The next one is called Dranks. Okay. And it's the Sorry, I'm not even looking at you when I'm saying this. Next one is called Drinks and it's like the orange colour. Um, so there's that one. That was not close. If you can hear bouncing around, that's because Naya's being a nuisance at the moment and trying to catch flies. So, Naya! Sorry about that. The next one is called Bottoms Up and that's the shimmery pink shade. You can see that there's glitter in there. That one's called Bottoms Up. Naya! You're a nuisance cat. I love you. And the last one is called Hungover and that's that darkish navy purple colour with shimmer in it as well. Oh, that one swatches well, and it does not come off with navy when you swatch it in the pan. It looks navy. Maybe it's because it's next to a blue. But yeah, when you swatch it, you can see the undertones are definitely pink. So don't know where I got navy from. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, those are the colours there. So yeah, this is the um, carton component. Um, mine came a little bit scratched up, but like I don't really care. Laura Lee, Los Angeles, Angeles party animal. Um, it says, oh, where is it there? I'm pretty sure that says it's cruelty free. So there you go. We're gonna try and use all six shades on. Don't dig your nails in, Talia. Oh no, that poor pink shade, rip. But yeah, we're gonna try and use all six other shades on my eyes today. So wish me luck because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scared, it's okay, I'll be fine. Everything's fine, we're gonna be fine. I'm not shitting myself at all, what are you talking about? Why would you accuse me of such a thing? I'm kidding. That one, that one, that one. Okay, I have an idea, sorry. <laughs> um, I have an idea what I wanna do. The first shade we're gonna go in with is damage control okay well, I don't really have very many clean brushes so hang on a second I'm a mess anyways so okay let's try this this is from AOA studio it in the, what AOA studio E127 brush already stained blue so I'm gonna go in with okay there's a lot of kick up I personally don't really care about that. I know a lot of people do though, so be warned, there is kick up. And okay, we're gonna put this in the crease. Okay, it's very pigmented. <laughs> Probably hence the kick up. Um shit. Okay, it's not looking bad. It's just pigmented. 
Also be warned, I'm not the greatest at eyeshadow, so if this turns out awful, I'm sorry. That's my fault. So we have that first shade laid down. We've used one out of six. Oh, that needs, okay, to lay out fucking hell. Hopeless. Okay, so that's the first shade laid down. We've used one out of six. Okay. Hmm, I'm scared for the next part, but it's fine. We're gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I think I have maybe, let's see. Going in with a Morphe M456 brush, which is also stained blue. And we're gonna go in with karaoke. And we're gonna start, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see. I'm glad I put that bake down. Can you see the fallout? Yeah, you can. So you can kind of see I'm like, you know, creating definition. I shake way too much. Me just holding this mirror in front of me, all I can see is like, da -da 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 -da. you know what I mean? Like it's just, oh, I am so freaking. I don't know. What is it that you just can't sit still? Is it ADD? I don't know. Hey Zach. Do you want to try and be just a little bit more quiet with a microphone to your mouth? You got a microphone to your mouth. Okay, so this is what we have going. I am not the best at eyeshadow, so I don't know how to, I'm not saying these aren't blendable because you can tell by the way it just went on and blended straight away. It is blendable. I just don't know how to create that perfect shape because it makes me nervous and I, and I pussy out. So I didn't do the best job at trying to make that shape perfect, but I gave up. So don't, don't give up kids, never give up, but I, I just got lazy. Um, this side I did a better job making that shape that I wanted. But this side I just, I, don't give up kids, okay? Don't give up. Anyways, moving on. So the next plan of action, I've got nails now. This is going to be a lot harder to do. I might actually have to use a brush. That sucks, I like using my, my fingers to put on the shimmer shadows. Oh well, I'll get over it. Do I have a freaking brush though? Okay, that'll do. That's huge though, that makes me nervous that it'll do. Okay, I have a M224 brush. We're gonna go, what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wet it. Where is, there it is, okay. We're gonna wet it first. Nice. And then, which side did I wet? That one. We're gonna go in with Hungover. Ooh. And put that on the outer part of the lid. I hate doing shimmers with a brush. Like it looks fine. I just don't like it. I like using my finger. I feel like I can be more precise with my finger, which would be the opposite for some people. But I don't know. I just don't like using a brush. I don't like flat synthetic brushes. And do the same on the other side. Okay, just like so. And now, we get another flat synthetic brush, hopefully a small one. That has glitter in it, doesn't it? I can see it. Oh well, I don't really care. Anyways, we're gonna go in with a M124 and also wet that. Let me just. Wet it on the back of my hand. Okay. And then go in with bottoms up. Oof. Okay. That was a lot. That was so unnecessary. And. 
start packing that on the inner part. You know, you know what I'm. You'll see it if you don't know what I'm talking about. You'll see. There you go. Works out. You know, everyone's happy. I hope. Are you happy? Why am I so weird? Okay, just like that. Hopefully that looks as good on camera as it does in person because in person I don't mean to toot my own horny but it looks great. So, <laughs> okay, okay, I'm feeling myself. Okay, well, <laughs> this is looking great so far to me at least. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do my eyebrows off camera and then we're going to wipe away this bank to do the lower lash line. So, Okay, now it's time to wipe off the bake. And before I get comments about my eyebrows, I know. I can see them too. They look awful. I don't know what happened here. Well, like, I do. This eyebrow here is more sparse and there's not as many hair there. Can someone just translate what I said? There's not as much hair there. Whereas this eyebrow is, like, completely grown in. It's not sparse at all. Like, there's a lot of hair there. So it's really annoying because that's like two completely different looks and that's just my eyebrows. So yeah, I love that for me. I can't just go in and like try and pluck individual hairs out to make it look more sparse. I, I just can't do that. Um, and if I try and fill this one in, my eyebrow pencil isn't the exact shade of my eyebrow. So it looks like I've just got a block of the wrong colour. So I can't win at all. Um, but we're gonna ignore it, okay? I see it too, I know, I know, I know. Shh, I know. Ignore it. Okay, so now we're gonna dust away the bake. <laughs> oh, I forgot there was actually like fallout on there. Maybe I should actually be paying attention to what I'm doing. I don't wanna be pushing it into my skin, I wanna dust it away. It's like really scary. It's a bit like, chunky I don't know if you can see but it's really chunky and it doesn't look very good like it looks really chunky it doesn't look smooth um, like at all and it's a bit deceiving that this is the color of the pencil and the actual nub is like oh, you can't see it's not gonna focus it but if I, if I bring the brightness right down yeah, the nub is not that colour, it's like an actual normal yellow. You can probably tell from my eye, that is not the colour of that. There you go, that's a better comparison. So, that's a bit annoying. Ooh, okay, you can come back now, thank you. Um, an M431 brush. Okay, just snapchatted me. Just looks like that. And we're gonna go in with drinks. And lower lash line. Tate just sent me a message on Messenger, okay. And Tate just sent me an Instagram message, okay. Chloe and Aubrey Tackett just commented on one of my YouTube videos, so if you just heard your name, feel free to comment down below. <laughs> Is that even enough? I don't know. And then I'm sure you can guess the last step. M506 brush and go in with It's a Party. And put that in the inner corner. And then to give that inner corner just that little bit of glow which it needs, I'm taking my old... Where did I put the brush? I will try and true wish highlighter of course and just popping that in there as well to give it a bit of glow because of course it is a matte shade but I feel like inner corners are meant to glow so why not just put some glittery goodness on top of it okay now I'm going to do mascara which will be the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Volume Express Mascara yes I can memorize that now it just looks like this and then I'll also be going on with the Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara so 
I'll be right back. Okay, I just did my lashes. Now I'm going to do my lips and highlight and then I'm done for the video. So for that, I'll be using, obviously, my Adeline X Morin, wow. My Adeline Morin X Tarte Promise Ring and my Ultra and True Wish Highlighter. And then for lips, I'll just be going in with this one that I got from Wish in shade 11 in Pudea, 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 I don't really know what that says. Whatever it says, that's what I'll be putting on my lips. And of course, can't forget my Carmex Moisturizing Watermelon Lip Balm because I don't want my lips to dry out. So I'll be right back. Okay, so whoa, calm down. So this is the final look from using all six shades from the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. Puppy! Sorry if you can hear Poppy running around in the background. Um, but yeah, so this is the look I can write. I can't speak. So this is the look I ended up creating. this video I know I enjoyed making it and creating this look it was a lot of fun so thank you for tuning in and watching alrighty guys that's it for today's video be sure to give it a like and share this video if you're new to the channel you should join the family by making the red subscribe button down below turn grey with the extra addition of the letter D at the end as well I make new videos every Sunday and sometimes Wednesday so be sure to turn on post notifications to be alerted of those up and coming videos as well as following my social medias to be alerted on there also thank you guys so much for watching i love you and don't forget everything's gonna be okay in the end and if it's not okay it is not the end cue the outro